Hi, this is Android Simplified episode 3 and today's video is all about your advanced Wi-Fi settings. Okay, so let's get started. So if you go to your settings, straight away you'll see wireless and networks and Wi-Fi. So if you click on Wi-Fi, click on your options and you'll see advanced. If you click on that, we can get started. Okay, so we'll go through each of these options one by one. Let's start with the first one, network notification. It says notify me when an open network is available. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you tick this box here, then your mobile device will let you know when there's an open network available. So what is an open network? Well, it's a network that can be joined by anyone at any time. Now, the legal issues surrounding whether you can use an open network or not obviously depend upon the laws of your country and also the source of the network. So, for instance, in the UK, we have open networks in most of the coffee shops. That's where you don't need to type in a passphrase and they have it freely available for their customers to use. Now, obviously, in this case, um, it would be legal to use the open network. However, some people decide for some reason not to use a passphrase or any type of security on their Wi-Fi and for that reason you can easily access it because there's no um, password to type in and you can get onto their Wi-Fi and access the internet however if you did do so it would be illegal so like I said it would depend upon the laws of your country and also the source of the network so let's move on to the second option it says keep Wi-Fi on during sleep now I covered Wi-Fi in episode 1 and this option here is only relevant provided you're near a wireless network that you are connected to. So let's start by explaining what we mean by sleep. Well this is basically the name given to how your mobile saves power when you're not using it. It's said to be in sleep mode. It saves power by keeping your work saved but seizes other functions which ensures less power is used. When you go to use your phone again, sleep mode allows you to quickly start working with all your processes just as you left them. So if you click on keep Wi-Fi on during sleep, we'll get started on what the three options that you're given will do. If you click on keep Wi-Fi on during sleep, this is the screen that you'll see. Now you get three options here, always, only when plugged in and never. So let's start with the first one, always. So if you click on this option your Wi-Fi will basically continue to run at all times now this is great if you receive notifications on Facebook or Twitter or any other social medium it's also the option you want to choose if you want to know as soon as any new emails come through it's basically the option to choose if any of the applications you regularly use need to be refreshed constantly um, and use the internet and if you want to conserve your data and continue to receive your updates and alerts as on when they come through when your phone is in sleep mode. So this option will basically continuously keep your phone connected to your Wi-Fi. So if we look at the third option now now alternatively you can choose this never option so whenever your mobile goes into sleep mode your Wi-Fi will turn off and in turn conserve battery now something to note at this point is although it says here that clicking on never increases your data usage which is basically the internet allowance given to you by your sim card service provider this is not necessarily the case so if you're worried about your data usage just turn it off from your settings for me I can do it from here if I just bring down this menu bar go across and there it is mobile data it's off at the minute so now it's on if I click on it again it turns it off it will say you will no longer be able to use applications such as internet email and YouTube via mobile networks continue click on OK now my mobile data is off since that's the case if I choose this never option it won't increase my data usage at all since my data usage has been turned off okay so um, this option here never to turn your Wi-Fi off when your phone is in sleep mode and your data usage is off as well okay it's the most battery conserving state for your phone to be in now you can turn mobile data easily back on whenever you need it as you saw um, that's how I turned it off. I also turned it on in that demonstration. So it's pretty simple and easy to do. On most phone devices, it will be exactly the same. Sometimes by putting a widget onto your home screen, which I should be covering in my later videos. 
Okay, so if you choose never, although your Wi-Fi will be off when your phone is in sleep mode, it will turn back on whenever you use your phone and any updates or alerts will come through at this point. Okay, so this second option here, only when plugged in, so keep your Wi-Fi on during sleep only when it's plugged in. What this means is in most cases, your phone will be in the same state as option three, which is never, but when your phone is on charge, only then will it be like the first option as always, where the Wi-Fi is continuously on. So which of these options you choose basically all depends on your personal preference. So let's go back to the other screen and continue explaining what the other points are all about. Okay, so let's have a look at option three. It says check for internet service. Check if Wi-Fi internet service is available when AP connected and you have an option whether to tick this box or to leave it blank. So what does that actually mean? Well, AP stands for access point. Now, an access point is the device that allows your wireless mobile phone to connect via Wi-Fi to a wired network. So what will checking this box do? Well, when you connect to a wireless network, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're connected to the internet. Now, the simplest way to explain this is to put Wi-Fi connectivity into three steps. Now, in the first step, you've decided to connect to the internet via Wi-Fi. So you start this process by turning on the Wi-Fi on your device, as explained in episode one. Now, during the second step, your device is connecting to the router. Now, at this point, although you're connected via Wi-Fi, you will not yet have access to the internet. So during the third step, the router will connect to the internet and you will have a working internet service on your device. Now, sometimes there can be connectivity issues which prevent the third step from happening. And although your device may be connected via Wi-Fi to the router and shows as Wi-Fi connected, this does not necessarily mean that you're able to connect to the internet if there's a problem between the second and third step. Now, you may have seen this happen on your computer when you see limited connectivity show up. Now, ticking on this box, like so, what that basically means is your device will let you know if there's any connectivity issues when you try to connect to the internet. So, it's up to you whether you'd like that to be on there or not. As you can see, you have the option. So, let's move on to the fourth option here, Wi-Fi timer. Now this option again is pretty self-explanatory, so you can choose to have your device connected to your Wi-Fi for set hours within a day. For instance, if you wake at 7am and sleep at 10pm and only want your phone to connect to Wi-Fi during these hours, instead of turning the Wi-Fi on in the morning and off at night every day, you can set this to happen automatically and you can do this by clicking on Wi-Fi timer. So let's do that now. Okay, so this is what you'll see from your Wi-Fi timer. So as we said, if you wake up at 7 a.m. and you sleep at 10 p.m., so you want to set the times between those hours for your Wi-Fi to be on, this is how you do it. So if we just change that to 7 a.m. for the starting time, and for the ending time, if we just set that to 10 p.m., and that's all we basically need to do, and then just click on Done. Okay, to make sure your Wi-Fi timer works, make sure you've turned it on by pressing the switch here. Obviously, it's different depending on what Android device you're using. As you can see here, it will tell you what times you've turned the Wi-Fi timer on for. So it's between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. Anytime after 10 p.m., anytime before 7 a.m., your Wi-Fi will obviously be off. It just saves you a little bit of time each day. So let's move on to the next point, MAC address. On this screen, you can also see what your MAC address is. Now, MAC address stands for Media Access Control Address, and MAC addresses are linked to the hardware, in other words, the physical components of network adapters. Now, a network adapter is what links a computer or phone to a network via the languages and codes the applications use to communicate with each other and the hardware. Now, your MAC address is a unique physical address, and unlike most IP addresses, tend to be permanent. And here you can also find your IP address. I've explained what IP addresses are and covered it in episode one. So that's the end of episode three. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions or would like me to review an app or explain any features or settings on your mobile device, please leave me a comment and I'll do my best to get a video out. Now I will be making more episodes, so please subscribe to my channel for my up and coming videos. Thank you for watching Android Simplified.